Welcome to the first episode of A Cup of Coffee with Nanny and Poppy. Today we have with us our friends Richard Buck and Lou Buck, better known as Uncle Richard and Granny Lou. Really? Welcome, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Hello, Nanny. Sure. All righty then. So uh, we're from Cordova, aren't we? Cordova, yes. North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yes. Is nice it a big city? Big city. Yeah. Big, big city. Yeah. 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 It's a little big city or yeah. a big little yeah. city. Yes. Yeah. Oh shit! Let's face it. It's a mill village. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mill village. Yeah. 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 We have a fire department and a post office. Right. Yes. The fire department's right beside the post office right. to take care right. of. The hot mail. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And we have four churches, right? And we have, we have one store. One store, right? One store, four churches. Okay. And we have, we have water and power. And yeah. And stuff like that. Right. Yeah, yeah we do have some water. Yeah. 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 It comes out of the river. Yeah. yeah, it comes out of the river. Even though our water comes out of the river, it's, they do clean it up pretty good. Yeah. It don't taste yeah. like fish or anything. No, no, it's not no, muddy no. or anything no. like that. No. You know, it's, it's pretty clear. Every once in a while I see a tadpole floating in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, so you, how long have you lived in Cordova? Uh, we've been here 30, I say 35 years probably. Richard, how long have you been here? 34 years. <laughs> now, you were here before she was here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you were born and raised here. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably been here 50 uh, something years probably. How old are you? 72. 72? Okay, so you weren't born here, you lied. I was born in Hamlet. Okay, so you're a Hamlet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm born you're a Yankee. I'm a Yankee. I'm born in Hamlet. Hamlet's 12 miles from here. Yes, a long, long way. Long way. Uh -huh. He had to walk to school up the hill both yeah, ways. Yeah, both ways. Barefooted. So, I do have a problem with what you just did. Don't lie on my show. Okay? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. We're good? Yes, sir, we're good. Okay. Uh -huh. You need to take care of your husband. Yeah, I'm a, I have a talk with you. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're well, trying to have a nice, reputable show. Right, let's see. And we want to show respect to the viewers. Yes. And don't go if we lie to them, they're just going to be it's, pissed that's off. That's right, that's it. You know? That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah, I didn't even see the dentist. Yeah, you do you need to go to the. What's wrong with your teeth? I'm missing them all. Are you going to get some new ones? Like nope, I'm just going to have. I'm going to have these put gold. I'm going to put gold on these two. Yeah. <laughs> Because well, hey, with this right here, it helps me whistle, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do need to go, really. You yeah. Check it. Yeah. Check I'm gonna, gums let me tell you about the toothbrush. Right. Let me tell you about the toothbrush. Can I study a toothbrush? Oh, yes, my toothbrush. I can prove to you that the toothbrush was invented in West Virginia. Because had it been invented elsewhere, it would have been the teeth brush. But West Virginia only got one tooth each. You would think I'm from West Virginia, but I just passed through there. I almost took the wrong turn. Shoot. I ain't lying, man. Yeah. We got, we're going we're gonna to interview Richard Buck here in just a second. And uh, we're going to ask Richard some questions. And let Richard, you guys will get to see Richard, and we'll introduce you to Richard. And, uh, yeah. So, Richard, are you ready to talk to the to the people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you doing? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Lou. Hey, Lou. How do you do? Mm -hmm. I don't know about this, Mike. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. 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 I don't go out next season because, you know, they shoot bugs. <laughs> so you have to change your name in the wintertime when they're hunting and all that stuff. Got me? <laughs> Hello, my name is Granny Lou. I'm Richard's wife for almost 33 years. Uh, we're friends with... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you met Granny Lou and Uncle Richard. Buck. We had to change his name in the wintertime. Well, I tell you what, that's a crazy one right there. Uncle Richard is a crazy one. In the wintertime. So, we have a lot of things we could discuss today, but we need to just pick a subject and discuss it. So, uh, Granny Lou, do you have any discussions 
He's probably going to talk about mine on that. Oh, we don't want to talk politics, though, no, okay? No, no. How about you, Uncle Richard? You got anything you'd like to discuss other than being shot by a hunter in winter if you don't change your name? Well, the only thing I can say, the price of eggs is down. The price, price, of, eggs the price down. of eggs is down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we bought a dozen last night for a buck fifty nine. That's, that's, that's we got ripped off because we can buy two of them for two fifty nine. I know, that's right. It was a dollar thirty. See, oh, I shouldn't go shopping. I got ripped off. <laughs> okay, Richard. Now, we know that you've only got one leg. Yes, sir. Well, you had two when you put your other one on, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> what's funny? Okay, so, Granny Lou is laughing over here, so we're going to try to figure yeah. out <laughs> what it is she's laughing about. It ain't funny. <laughs> It's not funny. I gave him, it's not funny. Okay. Can't lift nothing heavy. I can't lift nothing so heavy. So I gave him the eggs to bring in from the car, from the yeah. carport. Coming well, around. Well, eggs aren't heavy. The yeah. price is down, yeah. but they're yeah. not heavy. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I heard him say, "Oh my lord!" And I thought, "What in the world has he done this time?" I come around there to the gate. There he is, laying up on the porch. Eggs. Open one bag, bread glasses. There was the bread and stuff. Bread, yeah, yeah. yeah. bread, the bread, the glasses. glasses. I said, Did you get hurt? He said, No, I just got my foot hung. Which one? Spent. The it's fake good. one? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so we got his good foot hung. Yeah, he was coming up the steps and the foot went under him. That was bad leg, wasn't it? Bad leg. He got it up under the step. You know, he, he, good he, good. he didn't he, he lift it up enough. His bad leg, he didn't come up enough to take, to take the step on the step. So he landed belly first. Belly did first? Get, I said, did you get hurt? No. You don't see him getting up. It's a good thing he didn't hit that table out there. Well, that eye, my eyes were dilated too. Yeah. Everything was blurry. He didn't get that foot to go in, that's for sure. Yeah, you just want my dilate. I know what. I'm, things get blurry for me oh, too. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. does. It's all blurry. He got up okay and made it in the house with the bread and stuff. Good people here, Richard yes, and Lou. Yes, good uh, people. Yes. We help one another. You know? Are you good people? <laughs> we all right. Yeah. We could be better. <laughs> you could be better. <laughs> we help one another. Yeah, one another. What about neighbors? Do you help neighbors? Neighbors. If we can. Yeah. Yeah, talking about good neighbors and bad neighbors, we we all got the same neighbors because we live in the same neighborhood. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, we're just the best neighbors. Yes, that's right. Yes, sir. That's yeah, right. We are because we, we would care about them, right. we pray for them, that's we right. feed them if they need feeding. Right. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. We got one that wants to be a homesteader. Yeah. Yeah, we got one that wants to be Fred Sanford. Yeah. We got yes. one that's just a drunk. That's right. We got one that's got the hump back to be in the army. Yeah. yeah. And her mama's crazy as a bed bug. Got that right, bro. And her, and her mama's husband is a pervert. Yes. Uh, yes. So, yeah. Yes. And then we got another neighbor over here that thinks he's a construction worker. He does good. Yeah. Yeah. He don't yeah. work. Uh -uh. But, of course, he's got the money so he can just pay his other people to do the work for right. him. That's right. Yeah. That's good right. guy. Do anything yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Good guy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then we got the rest of the people in the town's crackheads. That's right. Yeah. But well, we're right. going to change it here in yeah. the part over. It ain't too bad. Is no, it? we're going to turn this crack place around, ain't we going to do it? <laughs> yes, I do like, you know, good neighbors. Yeah, we're, we're good neighbors, yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so, y'all are. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good neighbor. Thank you, Nanny, yeah. for being a good wife. <laughs> and good. I have one bad neighbor. You know, oh, just one? Yeah. You're lucky. She's a retard. Yeah. You would think it was a pop talk. Oh, that's kind of me. <laughs> but she's that's, that's uh, panics. Yeah. She has a problem, really and truly. She um she wears the same clothes for four or five weeks. That's Unless a, she's got two pair of pants just like not looking at it, yeah. <laughs> So how's it look she when she walks away? Hair. She got stains back there or something? Oh, no, I ain't seen none of yet. She ain't been over. But she don't oh, wash her hair. I just don't. don't she's, I in a bad, she's in a bad, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's just strange, I guess. Who was it? Strange. Did you look at it? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're thankful for Richard and Lou showing up at their own house. So we took the show on the road. Right, yep, we took the show on the road. Came across the yard. <laughs> Come across the yard for our airing of Poppy and Nanny. I mean, cup of coffee with Nanny and Poppy. Poppy and Nanny. What the? Okay, I really need to get something done with these teeth, I guess. Look at that one, boo. 
Okay. We want to thank you guys for joining us on the the first episode of A Cup of Coffee with Nanny and Poppy. We want to thank Richard for sharing with us what he shared with us. Thank Lou for sharing with us what she shared with us. We didn't know that we had a neighbor that don't change her clothes in five weeks. I just hope she takes showers within that time. I can smell. I can, I can smell it. <laughs> Across the yard. Across the yard. Maybe she's the fly trap. I believe it is. Okay, we're about to run out of time on the show. Well, really, we're not about to run out of time. We're about to run out of battery on the camera. Oh, my. Yeah. We don't have enough money to set up a studio here yet, but I promise you, Nanny and Poppy will have a studio and we'll interview people. Exactly. A lot of them might be phone interviews. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, how was breakfast this morning at the wonderful, show? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Whenever we have a show, we have in-house people. Much. We always serve them breakfast. Sausage biscuits this morning. Nanny made the biscuits by her hands. Uh -huh. She sure did. Wonderful. Yeah. Very good. That'd Very be handmade good. or homemade yeah. or homemade. Or... Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Did you enjoy that, Richard? I enjoyed yes. the biscuits. I yes. Did. You did, too? Yes, I did. I ate too much. Did you? Yeah. Well, I just, I, she broke me off a piece of biscuit. I'm on the yeah. diet, you know, and uh, look at my fat head. You know, I, I need to lose some weight here if I do. Yeah. All right. Again, thank you very much for showing up. We, uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Hit the like, subscribe buttons, <laughs> and uh, share it with everybody. Share it. By all means, tell someone about it. Until next time, we thank you again for showing up for another episode of A Cup of Coffee with Nanny and Poppy. Alrighty.